Hi there, it's Ben Housel here, and here in this class we're going to have a look at how we add titles that can be timed to a beat. So essentially what we're aiming towards is something like this, where the titles are appearing exactly on the beat. So we're going to go right through from adding the text, duplicating the text, and then getting the timing just right so that it syncs up just right with the beats from the audio track that we're using. So we're going to go ahead and create a brand new sequence, then look at how we create this title setup. First thing to do here is to go to File and New, and we're creating a new project. So the project is the edit timeline that we'll be working with, and we'll call this title and beat. So once we've got this set up, we're going to drop down our video uh, to the timeline here, and I'm just going to do shift and Z. So we see the duration of that clip there. And with this clip, one thing we're going to do as well is just add a bit of stabilization to it, which won't take long. It's a very short clip. So if you don't see the inspector on the right hand side here, just go to window, show in workspace, bring up the inspector and then once that's up if you scroll down you'll see the stabilization options here and that will allow you to, to stabilize the footage that you're working with. The next thing we want to do is to be able to see the correct information on the timeline. So we want to be able to see the audio waveform. I want to be able to see the thumbnail of the video just because that's what I'm used to. So I've turned these off here for the moment but I'm going to come to the middle bar here just above my timeline and to the right and this is where you can access the options for the timeline. So we can turn on here the thumbnails and the audio waveform. And we can also increase the height of our clip here in the timeline. So we can increase the height and then if we come to the middle above this bar, we can also increase the space that our timeline is using. And what that will do is when we actually get to the point of timing things to the beat, it's going to mean we can see where the beats are within this short sequence that we're creating. Now we've got the video track on here we want to remove the audio um, from this video track. So if we drag down the bar here on the timeline, you can see you can reduce the audio waveform. If you're having trouble grabbing that bar, you can highlight the clip and then come up to the audio options in the inspector and drop down the volume here to minus infinity and that will remove the audio. And then we're going to add our audio soundtrack. So we'll drag this down to the timeline and you can see now, because we've increased the height of our clips, we can really clearly see the, the beats um, as they appear here. So we've got this track now. And we've got those three beats, which is where we're going to get the text to appear on screen. So the next step is to add our first line of text. So I'm going to come to this first beat, and then I'm going to come up to the top left-hand side and go to my Generators and Titles options up here. It's the third button in. And then once we're in the titles, we can scroll down and we'll find the basic titles that we'll use here. So we're going to jump to the basic titles, drag that down. And so now we have a title that we can edit. So in order to edit this, keep that highlighted. So it's highlighted yellow. And then I'm going to come up to the type options in the inspector again on the top right. And we'll type in surf. And I'm going to increase the size of this. And I'm also going to change the style of it. So I'm going to go to my 2D style. So up in the top here, we see normal. We can go to 2D styles and I'm going to change this to the heavy option. And then I'm just going to increase the size of that type again. So we'll pull this up a little bit and you can see those yellow bars are letting me snap to the middle so that I can keep my text aligned perfectly to the middle. And I'm using Avenir Heavy here. I think I'm going to switch that to Arial Black. So the same style, Arial Black. It's going to be a heavier font. Any font that has black in the name is going to have a a kind of heavier than bold kind of setting. So the next step is how to duplicate um, these titles. So the easiest way to do this um, is to use the shortcut on the keyboard, which is the Alt key. So if we hold down the Alt key on the keyboard, I can just simply click on this clip and drag it up. And you can see it's snapping to those keyframes. And we have a duplicate of that initial title there. So now I can drag that down and I'm going to type in my next line of type. And then we can change the in point of this, this title. So then I'm going to drag this in point to the right until I get to somewhere close to this second beat. So you can see what we have here now is already starting to get close to what we want. So, and even though there's a very slight difference between when the audio of the beat starts and the visual comes on, we still get that kind of nice effect of the, of the text time to the beat. So now I'm going to hold down Alt and drag up one more time. And I'm going to drag this in. And now I'm going to go ahead and move this last title 
So I need to have my playhead over the title and then I can drag that down, make sure it stays locked onto the center there. And we have our titles. Now, at the moment, if you have a look here, then the titles need to hang on screen just a little bit after um, this video has finished. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the Alt key, so the same duplicate effect, and just drag this to the right a little bit and it will snap into place there. And so, so I don't get this jump between those two clips, I'm just gonna reverse this second clip. So if I come to my retiming options, just here in the middle, below the preview of my video, I'm gonna to go to reverse clip. And for this short section, it's gonna look fine. So we get an extra second and a bit of video there, which we can then trim down as we need to. So we have our title and I'm gonna cut it out here. So I'm gonna grab my blade tool and just slice all of these titles and let's play that back. And actually, I'm gonna have this disappear on this beat here. So I'm gonna drag these ahead a little bit, snapping my edit points to the playhead Okay, so we're bringing on those clips to the beat and then we're removing them exactly on that beat as well. So that's how to add um, those three titles and how to time them with the beat. It's a relatively straightforward process, um, but using the options for viewing your timeline in different ways will help you to edit your sound more accurately. And this is certainly a good simple example of how we can do that. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.